Hello and welcome to our discussion on accounting. In this session we will try to prepare the financial statements with a focus on the cash flow statement. So we have this question where the opening balance sheet is given, set of transactions are given. So we will prepare the financial statements including the cash flow, cash flow statement and then understand why is the CFO not same as why CFO not same as the PAT. So before we answer that question let us prepare the financial statements and uh, understand uh, let me just increase the size of the screen. Yes. So, issued shares, 10,000 shares of 10 at rupees 25. It's a receipt. So, capital is 10,000 shares into the face value. Share premium. Share premium is... 10,000 into 10,000 into 15 because it has been mentioned that the shares of 10 issued at 25 so the capital will increase by capital will increase by 100,000 and share premium will appear on the balance sheet as 150,000 then purchase stock on credit purchase stock on credit is 300 uh, no 100000 so the creditors will increase by 100000 and stock will increase by 100000 the creditors will increase by 100000 and stock will increase by 100000 so we have stock of 125000 sold entire stock for 300,000 for cash so the sales is equal to 300,000 and the corresponding cost of goods sold is 125,000 so the entire stock will become zero now we can see the change in the stock so the change in the stock shows mm, change in the stock is opening stock plus purchases minus COGS is the closing stock. Then paid off loan 20,000 we have loan of 80,000 and paid off loan of 20,000 so it's a payment so loan repaid and that took paid at the end of the year on 31st March so paid off loan on 31st March 2012 a small correction year 2012 so at the end of the year loan repaid loan repaid is 20,000 as a result the loan will come down to the extent of the loan repaid but interest for the period will be charged for the entire year on 80,000 because the loan is repaid only at the end of the first year uh, that is 2011. So interest is an expense and interest is an outflow of cash. So 8,000 is shown on the expense as well as on the cash flow statement. Rent paid for two years 48,000 so 48,000 is a cash outflow 48,000 is a cash outflow and expense for the periods is only half of it because the rent has been paid for two years as a result you will have out advance rent as an asset advance rent is a payment if more than the expense it is an asset if the payment will be less than the expense it's a liability 
other admin expenses paid during the period admin expenses paid during the year 25,000 and admin expenses is an expense to be shown in the income statement and since it has been paid it's an outflow of cash so 25,000 is the outflow of cash purchase bonds on 1st April at the beginning of the year so purchase of bond so purchase of bond is the is the outflow of cash so bonds purchase 10% bonds and you purchased on 50,000 and bond will be an asset so 10% bond 10% bonds will appear on the balance sheet as an asset and since it has been purchased at the beginning of the year interest on bonds will be shown as an income and interest on bond is 50,000 into 0 0.10 and interest we will show that interest as if will assume that interest has been received otherwise accrued interest can remain as an asset suppose I say that interest on bond is received is zero so in that case the accrued interest and accrued interest will appear on the balance sheet as an asset 5000 but if you assume that 5000 has been received then accrued interest will not appear on the asset side. So suppose we say that interest has not been received, so accrued interest will be an asset shown on the balance sheet. Payment to the creditor 90,000, payment to the creditor 90,000, uh, 90% uh, payment to the creditor. So 90% of the creditor we have 120,000 as a creditor so let us make the payment to the creditor so 0 0.90 into 120,000 is 108,000 so the creditor will now reduce by 108,000 we can see the change in the creditor the creditor was 20,000 increase for the purchase of stock and reduce for the payment of the creditor collection from the debtors so let us so collection from the debtor is only a receipt and it is 80% of the debtors collected so you're collecting 56,000 56,000 is a collection as a result the debtors will reduce to the extent of 56,000 and a bad debt of 10% so a bad debt of 10% so bad debt is a loss so 10% into 50,000 uh, 70,000 so 7,000 is a bad debt the debtors will further come down to the extent of the bad debt so we can see the debtors, the change in the debtor is opening debtor minus collection minus bad debt is the closing debtor. So all the items have been taken. So we will show the, we can find the profit before uh, tax now. The cash expenses is 189000 so profit before tax is equal to 305 minus 189, 116,000 is a PBT. We assume the tax rate to be 30% and we calculate the tax on the book profit. So PAT is equal to 81,200 and let us assume that the tax has been paid during the period. So the tax is uh, 34,800. If no information is given about the distribution of PAT, we transfer the PAT to the reserve. So the reserve goes up to 181,200. And the cash in hand 
is a cash available minus the cash payments so cash in hand is uh, 367,000 and 367,200 will be transferred to the balance sheet as an asset. So the reserves increase because of the current PAT and the cash in hand comes from the cash flow statement. So all the transactions done, we can now find the balances of the asset side and the sources side. The sources side should be equal to the asset side and that is um, no change in the plant. We have assumed no depreciation because no information is given, the rate of depreciation not given, the life of the plant not given. We continue with the same plant. So the balance sheet tallies. Now using this information, we'll find the cash from operation, cash from financing and cash from investment. Cash from operation is a sales plus collection minus rent minus admin and minus the tax. So cash from operation is 200. Uh, um, we'll see that cash from operation is sales plus data minus the rent minus admin expenses and minus the tax cash from financing is a capital raised plus share premium minus the interest and uh, no dividend paid no uh, redemption of bonds okay we have reduced the bonds 10% uh, bonds we have repaid right a loan repaid loan repaid is not 50,000 but 20,000 so cash from financing is 222,000 and cash from investment is uh, we have not sold anything there is no inflow of cash because of investment decision but we purchased the bonds so negative cash from investment activity so cash from operating is 300,000 sales the plus collection 56,000 minus the rent minus admin expenses minus the creditor minus the creditor is uh, should be equal to the cash from operation so cash from operation is 140,200 cash from financing is 222,000 and cash from investment is 50,000 that gives us the cash in hand cash in hand is equal to 367,200 then we'll answer this question why is CFO not same as PAT so PAT is equal to 81,200 will add back interest because we are treating that as an um, non-operating expense will deduct interest received because that's an income from investments no depreciation so the changes in a working capital the creditors have reduced so therefore decrease in creditor 8000 that means we have made payment to the creditor increase uh, then debtors will be debtors have decreased that means we collected money from the debtor so plus 63,000 and the stock has decreased that means we have used the stock of the purchase last year and advance rent we paid during the period so outflow of cash outflow of cash so 
the summation of this should give us the cash firm operation which is 140,000. One is the increase, the decrease in creditor, decrease in creditor, the debtors, decrease in debtors, stock, decrease in stock, decrease in stock, advance rent, increase in advance rent. So this is the change in the operating working capital. So therefore, with this information, we are able to convert these transactions into financial statements, find the CFO, CFF, CFI, and also answer the question, why is CFO not same as, not same as the PAT? And um, in the process, we are able to see that the company is having positive cash firm operation, but negative CFI, negative CFI means the company is making investment and in this case investment in the bonds and a positive CFF, the company is raising money from the market in the form of the capital. Thank you.